All right. Well, we are with Christina King, professional basketball player extraordinaire. I, I am super excited to be having this conversation. I've heard a lot about you. I've seen okay. <laughs> things as well too. Okay. Um, you got game. So <laughs> I you. am um, respect there for sure. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm just excited to learn about you, have you share your story with everybody and, um, and let's have some fun. Awesome. Well, I just want to say thank you for even having me. Like when you reached out, I was very, you know, humbled by that. So I, I definitely appreciate the opportunity to share my story. Absolutely. Absolutely. So got to start where I always like to start, which is when did you fall in love with this game that we call basketball? <laughs> I would say I fell in love from a pretty early age. Um, growing up, I had the pleasure of going to pretty much all the University of Louisville women's basketball games because my aunt who I pretty much looked up to her and my other aunts as like my older sisters that I never had. Mm -hmm. um, so she got a full ride scholarship to the University of Louisville. And so I was there at any chance I could get, um, being the little ball girl on the side, the little water girl, you know, they would go on tournaments and I'd be right there with them in the like, you know, hanging out with the, the team and everything. So I would have to say pretty early on, just because from the time I could walk, I've always been around a basketball. <laughs> Always. Okay. So Louisville, man. Okay. That's, um, yes, the standards were pretty, pretty high. <laughs> yes. That was a pretty high standard. I mean, so now was women's basket basketball as prevalent at that point in a, it's like, let's think about the Connecticut's and obviously, you know, the, you know, like the, the, the premier women's basketball colleges, where was Louisville at that point? I think they were still a pretty top program. Um, I don't know if they were, you know, as dominant as they have been in years, like the last decade. Mm -hmm. um, but they were still a very good school. I mean, you know, you you talk about the top players that have come from there, especially recently with like Asia Durr. It's mm -hmm. just amazing. So, I mean, to be so young and to have all of these women, female players around you that are, you know, accomplishing great things, they're setting the standard for what you want to be. I mean, that was just powerful from a young age. And so the fact that I got to see like my own family doing it mm -hmm. was just something that inspired me. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to be, you know, a mentor to young girls like they are to me right now. So um, I've always just wanted to be, it kind of didn't help that like, I always wanted to do whatever they did too. Right. So, <laughs> so for me, like since I was exposed to it so young, it just kind of was instilled in me. Um, you know, my dad played as well. My mom played as well. So it kind of just was in the family, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. Yeah. And you probably were able to progress a little bit quickly, uh, quicker than I guess some of your peers, because if you have parents who are playing, especially you have families playing at a high level. Yeah. And there's some cer there's certain things you learn about how to practice and how to think and how to see the game that the rest of us are not privy to. Oh, absolutely. I mean, when I was younger, I was already a year younger than everybody else in my grade. And so with that, I was already playing up. And then I played up even more just because I think when I moved to Washington State, you had to be like in third grade to play like organized basketball. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't there yet. But my mom was like, well, we'll get you on the team. Like, we'll make it happen. So I've always played up and just have been surrounded by it. <laughs> that's great. Okay. That's, that, that's wonderful. So um, what was it about basketball that you feel like just, just pulled you in? I love the fact that like you could, I mean, competing was just number one. Um, but also the fact that like, it wasn't just about you, um, from a young age, like my mom helped coach teams, my dad helped coach teams, but they never wanted me to like only be the star player you know growing up a lot of times when your parents are the coaches it's like mm -hmm. give the ball to my right. daughter Shoot. Give the ball. Shoot. exactly <laughs> exactly but from a young age they kind of instilled in me like this this idea of team and so with you know being exposed to it so early and being able to develop that IQ um, I love the team aspect and, and everybody coming together for one common goal was to beat the other team so mm -hmm. for me like I would just say that having that team aspect and still being able to compete and, and move forward and, and establish those leadership kind of qualities was always something that appealed to me. 